Hi guys, it's Ian from OSBFX. It is Wednesday, the 22nd of February 2023. It's eight o'clock in the evening in the UK. We've just had the FOMC minutes uh, from the US and we have seen some upside pressure in the US dollar. What I want to do in this video, I want to look at the dollar index which is DXY I want to look at different time frames we're then going to reflect that bias back onto uh, the euro against the US dollar and also sterling against the US dollar let's get to the charts going to look at the higher time frames first so this is DXY this is actually a monthly chart we're then going to break down relevant time frames all the way down into a hourly chart or an interday intraday chart to highlight uh, some formations that I believe are happening at the moment. So these are naked charts. There's no oscillators, indicators on here. It's just purely price action and what's known as cipher uh, patterns. Cipher patterns uh, often complete and highlight uh, the end of a trend and the start of a, a reversal bias, if you like. So here we've got the monthly chart. This is DXY. We can see uh, we've had quite a decent move to the downside uh, from the September 22 high, uh, which was uh, posted at 114.68. Uh, four months of net losses, but we are seeing some upside pressure uh, this month. Over the long term, it looks like uh, it's going to be quite negative uh, for the US dollar after uh, this move to the upside. So expecting a move to the upside and then this strong reversal. Obviously, this is a monthly chart, so maybe that reversal is going to happen uh, sort of in 2024 and 2025. So this is just to give us a picture. What we want to do is then break down into shorter time frames to actually get uh, some sort of decent uh, trade setups. So that was the monthly chart. I'm going to flick all the way back uh, to the eight hour chart. And here we can see uh, that we've had, again, quite a decent move to the upside this month. And then this reversal, we posted a bearish outside candle. That's quite negative for sentiment. Uh, and we've moved to the downside, but then we've seen uh, this correction higher. And we're actually getting pretty close to this previous swing high, uh, which was located at 104.33. Now, the reason I'm highlighting this pattern is we've got uh, a Fibonacci uh, confluence area here at 106.67. Now that would normally highlight that the next move should be to the downside in a BC leg. I'm now going to reflect back onto this chart to see where that BC leg could potentially go. And we've got a support level uh, which has been left at 101.50. So the immediate bias is slightly bearish from uh, the weekly chart and also the eight hour chart. Now, if we go to the one hour chart, and this is where it gets slightly more complex, what we're seeing is inside patterns here. So the blue pattern is what's known as a, a butterfly or a cipher butterfly formation. And then this yellow pattern is an inside pattern. And this is known as a bat formation. Now the bat formation will normally store at 88.6% of this sell-off and you can see I've highlighted that uh, with this dashed red line and that comes in at 104.22. Now the good thing about these setups are that if this swing high is breached which was at 104.34 uh, then this bias or this bearish bias is invalidated because this pattern is then broken. So the risk is quite limited and the potential reward to the downside is quite reasonable. Now, if we reflect that bias back onto Euro dollar, which we're going to do first, so we've got a negative or mildly negative bias in the US dollar, the dollar index DXY, that should give us a bullish bias uh, in the Euro against the US dollar. Um, let's go to various different time frames. I think the first time frame uh, which we should look at is the weekly chart. Here we've got a resistance level located at 110.75, and that's quite important uh, when we go back into shorter time frames. If we go to the four hour chart, what we have here is what's known as an ending wedge pattern. So, an ending wedge pattern 
uh, basically has lower lows and lower highs but the move to the downside is starting to lose momentum and if we put a oscillator on here uh, like an RSI relative strength index or stochastics what we'll be seeing is some divergence which is highlighting that this downward move is coming to an end now a break of 106.80 and the measured move for uh, the wedge formation is at 108.04. Um, the good thing about this setup as well, keeping an eye on that dollar index. Uh, if the dollar index breaches that high, then obviously this outlook gets invalidated. Uh, we've got trend line support located at 105.90. So again, thinking about the dollar index, we don't really want the euro against the dollar, the US dollar to breach this low at 105.90. Probably not going to be a direct move to the upside. I think probably what might happen with some volatility uh, in the US dollar is possibly something like this. So making a reverse head and shoulders pattern. So this being the left shoulder, hopefully making the head now and then going up to the target level which is 10804 for the wedge breakout and then coming down to form a right shoulder in line with this left shoulder and then over the medium term taking euro against the US dollar to the upside again going to sterling against uh, the US dollar slightly uh, different picture let's go to the weekly chart first so the weekly chart we've got some resistance it's not far off the last swing high it's actually currently located at 124.93 and again making uh, a nice cipher pattern there uh, giving us a, a negative uh, bias if and when we get to uh, that resistance level if we look to the eight hour chart here we've got a similar formation uh, to um, euro against the us dollar in the fact that we've got an ending uh, wedge pattern what we have seen is this swing high uh, which comes in at 121.48 uh, and then we've seen a rejection to the downside in uh, sterling against US dollar obviously while that dollar strength is seen uh, in DXY we've got a swing low here at 119.65 could potentially act as uh, support a break of 121.65 and the measured move target for sterling uh, against the US dollar is located around about 124, the figure. So just to re reiterate uh, what we've seen in the charts, DXY is at a critical level, uh, a breach of that swing high, and it looks like we'll continue to see uh, some upside pressure in the dollar. A failure here, and dollar moves to the downside, then we could see euro dollar sterling dollar break these wedge formations and rally higher okay guys good luck and i'll be back soon with some more analysis many thanks